Hey everybody, Scott here with another Aperture experience for you. Uh, today I'm going to talk about retouching, cloning, and uh, repair brush. And just using it to get rid of a few distractions and a couple of little tricks for you know making the, the best use of it. Uh, so I've got this picture here of a, an Air Force jet and I've done some retouching on it. I want to show you the, the before and after. So if I turn off retouch, you can see here we've got this, you know, this little streamer that's annoying and you know some other distractions just underneath the undercarriage of the plane and using you know cloning and uh, and retouching it's able to get rid of those and really they, they, they really don't notice them at all so um, let's uh, see if I can recreate this I'll make a new version and we'll remove the retouching and we'll start the process okay here's our new version let's remove this adjustment so we're getting rid of all the retouching that's been done and so we have our, our streamer here, and we have these distractions underneath the carriage. Let's first take a look at this, uh, this area down here. So I'll zoom into 100%. And this one's pretty simple. We've got you know, just this streak here, and there's a little bit of you know, color you know, reflection on the ground there. Uh, but we'll first you know, we'll bring up our retouch tool. Now, if I try to do a repair, because of the grain that's here, it's going to look a little... A little strange, a little bit blurry. So when I have a lot of texture, I will switch to cloning, and I want the the area to be completely gone. So I'm going to have my opacity at one, softness. This is pretty grainy, so I'll lower that a little bit, and I will option click here, and I want to try and get something that's going to be about similar to this uh, this little stream, and be far away enough that as I slope down to cover the whole thing. Um, I'm tapering off and not, you know, not hitting up against the same thing I'm trying to claw out. So around about here would be pretty good. Option click. I'll get reasonably close to these, um, you know, these me mechanics on the wheels, but not all the way in there. And we'll just start brushing this all the way down. And that's going to be pretty good. Now, if I start to go too far. If I went any farther, I would have started bleeding into what I was cloning, and I'd have things disappear. So let's take care of that. A little option click there, one click there, and that's pretty good. Um, this part here, I actually would deal with more with a color correction, finding the red and desaturating it, since this is just a concrete area. And I can repeat the same type of process in here. It gets a little trickier because we've got more... Um, more details to work with, like this area here, we've got this line that cuts across some type of you know junction or uh, soldering between the two light two areas. But I can use my option button and put my cursor right around in the middle of that black line. I have option click to select my source. I'm going to move over here. I'm going to hold down the option key, not to click, but just to position my cursor as best I can. Then I'll click once and I'll hold. And that's lining up pretty well, and I can even take care of some of this bit up in the top here. And I can repeat this process over and over again to uh, to smooth this in. You can see there is some pretty pretty good distortion here between the shiny silver of this area and then the, you know, the grungier part here. So this is another place where I could take this grungy area, again, line the cursor up right on the border of those two items, click once, bring it down again, line up, click and hold if that looks pretty good, and just to smooth that back in, repeat that a few more times. Um, in this area here, I might again look to use a color uh, adjustment and desaturate this. Um, using the same technique we did here, you can do the same thing for these, uh, this, you know, these coils on this spring. Let's take a look at the other area. All right, so zoomed in here to get rid of this, you know, this placard and these, these uh, distracting shadows. The challenge here is we have not only the texture of the uh, the concrete tarmac, we've got the seams in the concrete. And so what I will do is this placard looks to be at about the same place as where one of these crossings happens in the concrete. I'm looking up to here. There looks to be a crossing there, a crossing there, and so on down the horizon. So I'll start with a reasonably big brush. And I want to position 
my cursor, with the, holding the Option key down, right on the junction of that. And I want to find about the same equivalent place over here. This is just going to take some trial and error. I'm going to click and hold, and that's too high. So undo. Let's lower it down a little bit. Click and hold. And that is lining up pretty well. So I would then start to brush all this area in. I'm going to pick up that seam there and uh, slowly work it up into the into the area of the fuselage. Um, I'll go all the way across to bring that concrete seam up as far as I can. And I'll probably stop about stop about there and clean this up again with a smaller brush. Now it did leave a bit of a unkind transition. This is the other trick that I'll use. I'll actually lower the opacity about halfway. Let's try. Take something that's in between this light concrete and this darker area, something around here. Um, actually, even try and grab some of that seam there. So I might grab. Lower my brush, grab this right about here, option click, and then again using the option key, holding it down to help position the cursor. Click it again. Now I'm only doing a half opacity, so it's kind of blending that in. And when we zoom back out, you know, that's going to look just fine. You know, uh, yeah, there'll be the pixel police out there zooming in, looking at every pixel of your, uh, your image, but unless you're going to be printing this, in some huge format, that's going to be good enough. So anyway, um, there's just a couple of tips there. And if I move back to my original image, you can see where I've done all the cleanup uh, using those same techniques. Uh, this area down here by the uh, landing gear came out really nice. And so option click to position your cursor. And don't forget to play around with opacity when you're trying to blend in areas where you've cloned something and there's a less than uh, smooth transition between the edge of your cloned area and what remains. That's it for today. Hope this was helpful. See you next time.